5 easy tips to remember when learning to be an iOS developer. Number 1 is to explore. We should approach learning iOS just like we learn to play games. When we buy a new game, we don't read the manual from front to back. We don't wait to push buttons until we're told we jump right in. We explore, we figure out what we can and can't do. Even knowing that though when I first became a developer I got a class on Udemy, I filed along with the lessons, not strain a bit like I was gonna lose points for experimenting. I don't advocate just jumping in, never having open X code before a written line of code. There's a certain amount of basics you have to know to even know what can and can't be done. But at some point you're gonna have to leave tutorial mode and start playing the real game. Number two is to give yourself a system so that you don't have to rewatch content you've already seen. There are many ways to speed up the process, but there are a million ways to slow down the process of learning to become a developer. This one is the biggest what I did was start taking notes. Very bad notes at first, but I didn't know just how bad until I tried to use them for the first time and make something using only my notes. The only way to take good notes is to use the notes you've taken and figure out why they weren't thorough enough to accomplish what you wanted using only them. Number 3. Some things have to be learned through experience. You can't read a book about how to ride a bike. You could even read a book about how to make a bike. But nothing is going to prepare you for actually riding a bike except getting on it and riding. You could follow all the tutorials in the world step by step. But until you start getting your hands dirty and writing some code, you're never gonna get that experience under your boat. You're never going to know what your boundaries are if you don't test them. Number 4. You have to make a map. You have to have some kind of direction for what you need to know as a developer. To be considered competent enough to get the job just following what's laid out in class isn't enough. That's the map they've given you. And believe me when I say it's not enough, even online bootcamps that work you for 9 hours, 6 days a week will tell you that without the extra work on top of that, even their curriculum isn't enough to get you a job alone. So if that's the case for $15,000 bootcamp, what do you think that says for the $10 class? You just purchased on Udemy take your learning into your own hands and make your own map. Number 5. Don't forget that you chose to become a developer because it's fun we learn by doing. But the most important thing you need to remember is to have fun while you're doing it. Let's be realistic, if we only cared about making money, it would be a lot easier to get hired at a fast food restaurant or retail chain, and move up to management positions and hire. There are much easier ways to make a decent living. Maybe not an outstanding living, but a decent enough living to be able to have the things we want within reason we don't choose those because we don't enjoy them. We grow up knowing that the last thing we want is to work a job we hate for the rest of our lives. We chose iOS because it was fun. Now of course nothing stays fun forever. But just remember you could have picked any career. But you picked this. Have fun. Don't turn it into a life or death and set rules for yourself and no one else is placing on you. You don't have to learn the entire language in a month. Nothing is impossible technically. But that's pretty impossible. Give yourself realistic goals to be and have fun beating them. Because I promise you setting impossible goals and then failing at those impossible goals will only knock the wind out of your sails faster than anything else. I hope you find out this video useful. If you like it, then press the like button, share it with your friends or family members. Do you have any suggestions regarding the content, comments section is all yours. If you want such type of informative videos, then do subscribe to the channel. See you in next video.